If the international phonetic alphabet has symbols and sounds you haven't mastered yet, it's time for IPA and IPAs with Molly. Hi everybody, welcome to IPA and IPAs, an unfussy show about the international phonetic alphabet and beer. I'm Molly from Molly Does Dialects and I'm joined by a very special guest tonight. This is my dad, Jim, and he is here for a very special Christmas episode to transcribe for you. But first, what are we drinking? Well, well Molly. <laughs> We're drinking Old Jubilation, English style, old air. Old ale. ale. Old ale. <laughs> old Jubilation, English style, old ale. Old ale. Makes you jubilant just to think about just it. Just to think about it. So and then. The can looks like, well, we, we don't have to, shh, 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 we wait for the second one. We have two tonight, but we have to taste this one first. Oh, shall we taste it? So this is a limited release. It's from Avery Brewing Company in Boulder, Colorado. Which cup do you want? That one? Um, I'll take all of it. No, you don't get all of it. You get half of it. Does that look like half? Mm -hmm. Pour the other one. I'll see which one. <laughs> she tried to take a little bit more than half. I did not. All right. That looks about half. Okay. So this says, Old Jubilation, brewed with Rocky Mountain water, malted barley, specialty malts, honey, Munich, chocolate, black, hops, and yeast. It's cheerful, festive tradition. Cheers. Cheers. Jubilation. Right. Jubilation. You know, I think it's um, hoppy, malty, <laughs> chocolatey. It does taste chocolatey. Yeah. What else do you taste? Tastes like good beer. It's strong. It's really strong. So this is an 8.3% beer. Uh, it's a good Oof. thing we're splitting it. Um, what do you think? Do you recommend it? I do recommend it. It's a little sweeter than what I like, but it's not sweet like like some of the stronger uh, yeah. beers, like the, um, uh, what do you call those? The, strong, the dark dark beer. Mm, yeah, it's not like like a stout or a porter. Yeah, it's not like, it's a, not not like, as, a, yeah. like a stout. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And because it's Christmas... We are doing two beers tonight, not one, because there's two of us, and we didn't want to share just one beer. So our second beer of the night is Brewster Cogburn Imperial Vanilla Cream Ale from Saloon Door Brewing in Webster, Texas. And this is what this looks like. And this is what the rooster on the side <laughs> looks like. Did you see it has an eye patch? I did. Well, Rooster Cogburn was John Wayne. Was a John Wayne movie. Really? John Wayne and Katherine Hepburn made a movie, and I think it was a sequel to True Grit. Huh. That's what I know about that. I was going to say, I, I have but no John idea Wayne, what... John Wayne's dead, and so is Katherine Hepburn. <laughs> I didn't know what Brewster Cogburn was, so I wasn't sure what... So you learned that... at least one thing today. <laughs> You're going to learn something. I'm going I'm to learn how to see if this beer is as good as the other one. So an imperial vanilla cream ale. Oh, it smells, it smells really like vanilla. -y. A vanilla -y. It tastes pretty vanilla. -y. You already tasted it. You're supposed to smell it first. I did, but I smell and taste quickly. Ooh. That you know what? That would be good with a mixed half and half of the wheat beer, maybe. You think so? It's a little sweet. It's a lot sweet. It tastes. Exactly like vanilla extract sounds. If you don't like vanilla, this is not a beer for you. If you love vanilla and sweet beer, this might be one you want to try. Um, it's yeah, it's, it's sweeter and heavier than a usually than usually cream ales are. It's nine. Point, in my experience, in your experience, I'll have quite a bit. Quite a bit of beer. experience. It's nine point six percent. Whoa! Well, that is a strong. One. It doesn't taste like that. No, it's it's kind of. Tastes like something you might want to drink if you were in high school. <laughs> you shouldn't drink if you're in high school. <laughs> you should wait until you're of legal drinking age, whatever that is, for wherever you are. Okay, so on to the main event. I tonight... thought this was the main event. <laughs> well, it's, there's two main events. Okay. So tonight, 
Um, my dad is going to help me transcribe the phrase Merry Christmas, but here's the twist. Dad, do you know any phonetics? No. <laughs> I know IPAs, but I don't know IPA. And I'm really good at IPAs. He is very good at IPAs. But um, not IPA. So when I asked him to do this, I told him he could look up how to transcribe Merry Christmas, and then we would transcribe the rest of it together. So he brought his notes with him on a very small piece of paper. Um, and we will be right back. I'm going to put the whiteboard up. Okay. Now what? Now you transcribe. I'm just going to stand well, here and drink beer and watch. Yeah. Well, you know, don't, I, don't I, I, I have to write sideways? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why are you writing so small? I'll write bigger. Well, that's like tiny. No one's going to be able to read it. Well, let's start over then. Okay. Let's start over. Okay. All right, yeah. Merry us, Christmas. Us what you're doing. I'm writing the this thing, and that means you emphasize that. Is that your stress mark? That's a stress mark, I think. He got that right. That's your stress mark. M. Mm. So that's not an M, it's a mmm. Mmm. That's a Stress mark. It's kind of the wrong <laughs> it's way. Huge stress mark. I know. Well, I'm going to make a big K. Okay. K. It's very stressed. <laughs> R. R. Cr. Yeah. Good. That's a good eh. S. Um. It's called eh. a schwa. Merry Christmas. That's pretty close. Merry Christmas. You want to switch spots with me? Yeah. Okay. So, you're sort of close. Sort of? You're pretty close. First, we need brackets. We always need brackets. Oh, I took the brackets out. We need the, why'd you take the brackets out? Because I thought they were superfluous. No, no, no. Brackets tell us that what's written inside is phonetics. Oh. So you... Every that, word has a bracket? No, 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 no. It's like if you're going to transcribe a phrase, you put the whole thing in brackets. So Ooh. we need our brackets. You got the stress mark right. I'm going to draw it a little more up and down. And I, I quabble with your Mary, sir. Mary? Yeah, I, I quabble. What does that mean? It means I don't 100% agree. I think it's close, but I'm going to do this. So you typed me ri. <laughs> so I trill a lot. Me ri. <laughs> so we're going to do this is the vowel plus r for mare. I'm going to put we need syllable oh. breaks. So a period makes a syllable break. Okay. What and is so, that? That's a schwa plus roticity. <laughs> have like, a, yeah, have a drink of beer. Sounds cheers. like a cheers. Cooking roticity. Me method. Cooking method? All right. Okay. If you draw an R up and down, that's this that's the symbol for rrr. So we want to draw our really? R <laughs> upside down. Oh. Rrr. You got the E correct, the E sound. E. That, so well, that says then, Mary. And how come this one wouldn't be upside down? It will. We haven't gotten to Christmas oh. yet. You're jumping ahead of me, Jimmy. So we need to erase this. Well, that stress mark was crazy. Make it a little smaller. Um, so that, that right now, well, actually because you didn't, so because you did this and not this, this is a tapped R. So right now it says Christmas. Christmas. Oh. That's not There's what a lot of letters in your alphabet. There's way too many. <laughs> I can only do 26. So we have to do this one upside down. That. So Christmas. But we're missing. So everything else is technically right. Your, um, Tec your K is a little low. But where's the syllable break? 
So silver breaks like a dot. So, yeah, okay, so we're going to put a dot here. I know syllables. That's good. I know <laughs> syllables. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. But because I put, we're transcribing what's above, I put an exclamation point. So we need to put two lines. That's called a major foot group oh. marking. So that tells us basically like that's the end of the phrase. So now it says, Merry Christmas. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, well, Christmas beer is good. Christmas beer is good. Christmas transcription is good. Uh, what'd you learn tonight? I learned... <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas! <laughs> Is that what I was so you learned you learned that the R has to go upside down if it's going to make a R uh, sound. Uh. Good. But it wasn't that what was in my detailed notes. He googled. It. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us tonight on IPA and IPAs. We hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Did you learn something? I learned something. I learn? learned that I'm probably going to have a very short movie career. <laughs> Your days as a YouTube star are over. I, I don't think I'm going to get viral views of this. <laughs> Not for my part, anyway. Maybe for your part. If you have any questions or comments, suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel. If you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at Molly Does Dialects. Um, Whatever holiday you are celebrating this holiday season, happy holidays to you and your family from me and mine. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Send us presents. <laughs> you can never fail with, with the fresh, fresh pale ale, ale and molly. All right, you ready? Yeah. Oh, it's born ready. <laughs>